words. I'm going to read the word today. And uh, I'm going to use these. These are, they're called Creative Expressions. And they're cards that I have. I um, actually painted this up. I'm going to do uh, some more. Uh, so I'll switch between the other cards that I have and these. But it says, I always thank my God for you because of his grace given you in Christ Jesus. 1 Corinthians 1 4. So that's just our encouraging word for today. And uh, just know that, you know, God's grace is upon us all and that he loves us. And uh, his hope and prayer is that we just, again, we seek him and that we learn how to grace and mercy to others and love. Right? So that's our word for today. Okay, so I'm going to show you what we have, um, what our results were from the polymer clay video that we did, the part one. This is part two, and we're going to make some pieces. Um, what I've decided to do is today I'm going to make, we're going to make a necklace and earring set from the these uh, pieces here, from these pieces. Um and then uh, I'm going to do shorter videos with these. Um, today I'm just going to show you all the pieces and then make one, a set out of this. Um, and then I'll come back and we'll do videos on the other pieces that we do and uh, put those together. So this video will just consist of showing you what we have, um, the final uh, look. This is actually, um, I put resin on these, front and backs, and um, they turned out beautiful. There's the colors, um, you can see they're, you know, because we used translucent clay, right? Let's see if I can, when you hold it up to the light. You can see just the translucency of this. It, you can see right through it. It's beautiful. Okay. Um, and then the two earring pieces that we have here. So this is what we're going to make today. Um, but I also want to show you the rest of these pieces up close. So here is the heart that we did. This is all out of that first batch before I came back and showed you um, how I utilized the uh, scrap clay. These came out all the first ones right here. And these are the hearts that we did. And just look at that. Uh, I hope it's showing up on the camera here. Um, there's so much detail and so much, so many lines and just the copper flakes that run through it's just beautiful absolutely beautiful for so i'm going to fix these up we're going to make these <clears throat> again this can be a set for valentine's day that's coming up or you know just everyday wear so we're going to work with those uh, not on this video again we'll do separate videos on each of the pieces that we make from this Then, here is the other pieces. I'm going to go ahead and combine all these. Here's the butterflies. And these pieces that I cut out, just kind of shaped them myself. As well as these that we cut out. Um, I'm going to make posts out of these. And... Um, post all these and then we'll put these together as earrings but here's the butterflies if you can see that and the colors like I said with the copper running through it is just in the shine and shimmer um, you know I put that pearlescent on top so there's that on top the iridescence of that is on top but then when you go down and you look um, what the resin did is bring out the dimension of the, each of these pieces. So you have uh, flakes that are down deep. You have them closer to the surface. It just gives it so much dimension. So they're absolutely beautiful. So I did want to show you, share those with you. 
And then the last thing I want to share, um, and then I'm going to pause it and we'll get started making uh, the near necklace and earring set. Um, this side over here were all the pieces, and actually, in some ways, I like this better. These were the pieces that we made, okay? Once we had the scraps and we just kind of stuck them all together. And I don't know if you can tell, but this piece, I'm gonna grab this piece. That piece is absolutely beautiful. So it has the shine and shimmer uh, from the opal light that we put on top, the surface treatment, right? all on top, but then you also have a lot of dimension in this. Uh, I think when I try this again, I may end up even tearing some of the pieces, putting them together because I think it shows more depth. Um, and that's what this is. If you will notice, there's more of a um, the flakes Again, there's surface flakes, but there's also dimension, and there's flakes down in it. Um, you have your, um, where we, you know, put it together. There's like a line that runs through it right here, which is just really pretty. Gives it lots of dimension. Let's look at the back, and look at this back. I, I, again, camera probably doesn't do it justice. But the dimension of the back is amazing. The lines that are running through it from the alcohol inks that we use, like the purple alcohol ink, uh, the blue alcohol inks. Um, and again, it just gives it so much dimension. The flakes on this is beautiful. So you have not only the front that turned out, I think, absolutely gorgeous, but you also have the back, uh, which turned out just equally as pretty. So... Um, I'm just really happy with the way these turned out. And I might actually go back, like I said, I do have a piece of this left, and maybe even chop it up and put it together to see what it, it might look like, if it would bring more of a dimension. Um, the difference between these two, uh, if you see, again, you see more of the flakes, it kind of uh, more of a dimension. This, this is beautiful. It has a lot of lines through it. Again, I don't know how well the camera's showing this, but if you flip it over on the back, again, you have the lines running through it. Um, but it's just different. Like, these are more of a line. This is more just uh, all kinds of different things happening here, you know. So I, I, I tend to like this a little bit better than I do this one. So, But uh, they're equally as pretty. Uh, they're not... They're not ugly, but I like this. This um, this one probably turned out the best out of all these. I don't know. This one's kind of pretty. If you'll notice the back of this one, it has a lot of the flakes, a lot of the dimension. Same as on this. Uh, this little piece out turned out real pretty. Uh, let me see if I can put it up here. But when the light runs through it, it's, you can see through it, uh, the translucent, the translucency in it. Okay. So it's, it's, really, it's equally as pretty. And there's the back on that one. Okay, bring it down a little bit more. I don't know if it's showing up as well, but it is really pretty. So, um, those are the pieces, um, and it made several, you know, sets out of what we did, so that's wonderful. So, I'm going to pause this, I'm going to clear these things off, uh, and we're just going to work with this set here today, and, uh, make a set out of it. Okay, I'll be right back. I've come up with the concept for this, uh, we're going to work on the pendant first, Okay, and here's some beads that I'll be, that we'll be working with. Um, these are ma 
kind of like a metallic. Um, and I thought it would really help uh, set this off a little bit uh, with the colors in it and, and all that. So we're going to use just a couple of these. So this is what I have uh, come up with this. And basically, we're just going to use it just like to start off our necklace. And this is what we're going to do with that one. We have lava beads. Um, I have some purple lava beads here. Do like this, because that's kind of what it's going to look like right there. Um, then we're going to take these. These are glass beads. And I, what I did is I incorporated the lava beads, because I've got a different type of lava bead, along with just these glass beads. And uh, they have some blue in it. Uh, again, the smaller beads have blue and copper look on them. And then we use the copper space, spacers uh, for those. So we're going to do that link. Um, and then, let's see what other link I have, right here. The other link I have, again, this is, I love these, uh, lava beads. Okay. Uh, it's a lava bead with copper. And then I have, like, I believe they're four millimeter pearl, purple glass beads, which I love them because, again, we have the texture, which is the lava bead, along with the smooth, which is our small purple pearl beads, glass beads. Okay, I love that look. Um, and if you'll texture versus the smooth. And then the last link that we're going to put together is this one here. If you can see that. Then I have uh, the copper beads, smooth round bead, iridescent beads. And then I have a larger pearl bead with a couple of copper flat bead um, spacers. Okay, and I'll show you what those look like. But here is the different sizes of the pearl beads that, that I had to go with this. Okay, so I believe this is probably an eight millimeter. So this purple um, pearl bead here, glass bead is up eight millimeter. These are six millimeters. Um, these bubble beads that I'm using. We have the lot purple lava beads that I'm using. Uh, we have these lava beads or lava stones. And these, this is a mix of like uh, purples and turquoise and, and all that. Then we have solid purple beads, right? And we're using two different sizes of those. We're using the smallest, which is the four millimeter, and we're using the six millimeter. And then we're using these glass beads, which is, um, they're not bicones, rondelles. They're rondelles, right, with a lot of sparkle to them. So we have our texture, we have our smooth, we have our sparkle, everything combined. And then here is the string for the flower um, glass beads that we're using that has different metal look to it. And then this is the, these are the smooth blue uh, that has some purple, copper look to them. So this is the combination that we're using along with uh, these are per, uh, check glass beads. They're 80 seed beads and they're bronze. Okay, these are what I'm using for our spacers. Okay, so let's get started. So, I had a little glitch a while ago in my filming, but here are our two component, components for the um, flowers. 
I think those are real pretty. Okay, so there's those. So we're basically going to put these on either side of the pendant. And I have a um, bale I'm going to put here. We'll do that in a little bit. So there's those two pieces. Uh, next, we're going to do the um, purple lava bead and the two rondel sparkles and also we've used the copper spacers so i'm going to take this okay i'm going to bend it over about right there and just roll this back I have to straighten it out So there's that component. So let's put another one of those components together. And I have my eye pin. I'm going to get a copper bead, okay, spacer bead. We're going to put one of the rondelles Okay, we're going to get another one of the copper beads Just like that. Then we're going to get one of our Lava, purple lava beads. Another copper spacer. Rondell. Whips. I do like these tweezer pliers. They do make my life a little bit easier. Okay, and then another copper spacer. All right. So I'm going to do the same thing with this one. I'm going to take it, bend it over, cut off about finger width. Take my round nose pliers, roll this back. Okay. Bringing that in so that that loop is closed. Okay. Just like that. Then I'm going to take the other end, make sure it's good and closed, and it seems to be. Straighten it out just a little bit. Straighten out this just a little bit. Again, make sure it's tight. And there's our other link. Okay. So the next link we have. Excuse me if my head gets in the way. Um, this is, I have three of the spacers. 
two of the smooths that have blue and copper on them. And then I have this bead that has, it's almost like a metallic smooth bead. It's got some metallics in it. So it's, it just really is pretty with this set. So I'm going to take this. I'm going to hold the bottom of this so that I can kind of fold it over just like that. Nip this off right here. Take my round note. Plower, pliers and roll it back a little bit make sure that's good and closed just kind of tapping it okay alright there we go so there's that link so let's put together another one of those links. I'm going to get my eye pen. And again, I have three of the copper beads. One, two, and three. Then I'm going to take the small blue metallic sort of bronze looking bead put that on okay then I'm going to take the bigger bead this is uh, these are six millimeters this is probably eight it might be a, a ten no oh, about an eight I guess okay metal bead and then another six millimeter okay and then I'm gonna put three more of my bronze spacers on okay I'm gonna hold this at the bottom I'm gonna take it and I'm going to fold it over that away Take my power cutters, nip that off. Take these, and I'm going to roll it, just roll it back. And it's good and closed. Okay? Do the same thing on this end. Make sure it's good and closed. One more time, I'm going to straighten this out. Okay. Okay. There we go. That is our other um, link. Okay, so the next link we're going to build is going to be this one. We'll go ahead and put this. Again, I'm going to take it. This is the one that has the brass or the the copper spacer, a small four millimeter uh, glass pearl. Then we have the the blue turquoise and purple lava stone, and then we have again the um, copper spacer smooth purple pearl and then another copper space spacer bead All right. and again then I'm just rolling it back
just like that. And there is our link. Okay, then let's make one more of these links and then we'll just have one more left. So there's that link. And then this is the last set of links we're making. Again, I'm going to take this, move this over, right above that spacer. Clip that off. This one, I probably got too short. Having a hard time grab a hold of it. I think it. I think it'll be fine. Just, and it is. Okay. So here's that link, and we're going to make one more of those links. So I'm going to eye that. Don't want the flower spacer. Okay. So I'm going to put that on. Then the next thing we're going to use is one of the eight millimeter purple pearl glass bead. And then, and again, I'm going to use one of the fire copper spacers and then another eight millimeter or six millimeter. This is six millimeter bubble bead and a copper spacer. Okay, and then that's our second link. Okay. And that one's closed up as well. Okay. So there's our links. What I'm going to do, this is the bail that I'm using. I'll show you that. So I want to attach the bail. I think that is so pretty. You can see that. Okay, and that's our bail. So I'm going to attach that. And the way that I'm going to attach that is I'm going to And I'm a little concerned it may work. We're going to try it and see. If not, I'm going to have to come up with something else. These are thicker rings. So they're really... I'm going to have to... I need my bigger, I think, pliers for this. Okay, so we've got the bail on our pendant, okay? So I've got that on there. Um, this is the chain I'm going to be using, okay? So we'll use, we'll use some of this. So let's go ahead and start linking these together. Um, use some of this chain and I'm going to basically uh, what I'm going to do with this I'm going to attach the chain to go through there like that I think I have a piece of chain that's running through it so I think Mm. I'm going to do two of the bigger links and three of the smaller links. Okay, so let's see how that goes. I'm attaching that away. Actually, there looks like a real nice break 
in this chain right here. So I'm just going to use that. Okay, just like this. And then I want to attach this end right here. I'm going to run that right through there because I couldn't really get that through there. Put this back on here and twist it up. Put it back in position, okay? So just like that. Again, I'm going to take these pliers and just make sure we've got a real good connection there, and I think we do. And that is what it's going to look like, okay? Then we're going to start connecting our uh, links to this. And I'm just the smaller copper links that I have here, okay, to attach those. I think it'll be bit, look better than the bigger ones. So we're just going to take these, and you all know how to open up your rings. You're just going side to side, right? Just like that. Okay. And then I'm just going to attach it just like this. With this. And close it up. sure they're closed well. So now we're going to attach the wand, the link, on the other side. Put it in here. Attach it to this link. Okay. And again, we're just going to grab a hold of it. It's, yeah. Okay. So there is that link on. Oh, that is looking really pretty. Okay. So we're going to continue with our links, attaching our links where we had the blue and coppers together. We're going to attach that. that link so we'll take another one of our four millimeter rings jump rings we're going to attach it to this over here on this side all right that has come along really nicely. So, again, now we have our purple and turquoise lava stone that we have here. We're going to attach that link on. And again, we heard the snap. Just making sure that's good and oh, that link's good so again I'm going to attach the other one on this side open up our jump ring and 
and close the jump ring back up. snap Tips. then we have two more links to put on and then we're done putting the links on then I'm going to measure it we'll measure it at that point see how much more of the chain that we want to use to continue um, the necklace out I think I'm going to do uh, I want to make it about an 18 inch necklace okay and then I'm going to put I think I'm going to do a dangle uh, in honor of Wendy I think I'll do a dangle on it and um, put maybe another inch or two of cord on it and again this this string that we're doing is our smooth beads that have the per the uh, eight millimeter purple pearl on it and the bubble beads that I was talking about six millimeter bu bubble beads on that okay so that looks like that's nice and good yeah all right and then the last link and then we'll see what it looks like and like I said we'll add the chain all right, so here's this. And we're adding it to this side. And this is what we have, okay? Um, right, so I'm going to lay it out so that we have it doesn't slide so far but this is what we have okay I think that is so pretty and that beautiful Okay, so we're just going to add, I'm going to measure this. We'll add a little bit of this chain uh, to the back uh, to get it to the length that we want it. Okay, I'm back. Um, and here is our necklace and it's finished. Uh, I put a dangle on the back. I just used one of the purple beads, smooth beads, and one of the the um, blue smooth and gold or not gold but uh, bronze looking beads so this is uh, this is our finished piece so it's about 18 inches long and then I've got about a two inch um, extension on the back and I just I made my own extension I put uh, I used four millimeter uh, four millimeter jump rings and attached them to six miller a six millimeter because I didn't have a a real good chain for that so I just made my own um, so I, I really think that turned out really pretty um, and then I went ahead and put together one of our earrings this is the earring for it so I just used one of the flowers didn't use a lot of beads pretty simple uh, used one of the flowers in the two metallic uh, spacers that came with these flowers and just attached a bale actually to this clay piece because it's so thick I attached a bale I used a little E6000 to uh, put on the tips of the bale to go to insert it into the polymer clay uh, so that it would uh, the glue would help it uh, stay uh, and not come out so uh, let's do, I'm going to do the second earring with you. So basically we're going to need one of those beads and two of our spacers. I'm going to move this out of the way. Then we're going to need one of the, um, need this, okay. Um, and then I, this is the bell I used. Um, and it had, if you see an, uh, thing at the bottom 
I'm going to cut that off. I'm going to use my <clears throat> I'm going to use my cutters to actually snip that in half. Okay, I may reuse these at some point. Might be able to use them on something else. So I'm not going to throw them away, but I am going to cut right there. At the bottom okay so there's those two pieces and here is the piece that I'm gonna use for my earrings so I'm gonna take my pliers open open this up pretty wide um, because like I said that that clay is pretty thick so I'm gonna open it up I'm, this I have to spread apart like this you spread apart like that. We don't twist it. We just pull it apart. All right. Now what I'm going to do is take this, and I'm going to take some of my E6000. And put it, I have a toothpick here, and I put some E6000 on it. And I'm just going to take and put that on, if you will see the prongs down there at the bottom, I'm going to take the E6000 and run it along those prongs. So that when I stick the prongs down in the hole, it will adhere to the clay. It'll take it a minute to set up, but okay. So again, I'm gonna take my clay piece. I've already drilled a hole in it, okay? And I'm just gonna take this. I'm gonna do my front first. Well, I'm gonna need to open that up a little bit more. So I'm going to take my put the front piece in first and then I want to begin to close it a little bit with my fingers to get it down there to where the back piece is going to go in to the hole in the back. And I basically squeeze the two pieces together with my finger first, okay? Then I'm going to take, I have these, um, they help not, they don't mar your, they have plastic coating on them. They don't mar your um, thick uh, findings up. So I'm just going to take that and mash it down. Pretty well. Actually, I'm going to take it this way. Can't grab a hold of these pliers the way I need to. There we go. All right, and then I'm just going to mash them down. As best that I can. Okay. Then I'm going to take these. And I'm actually going to use these. I don't want to move them around. Just get them fixed on there and mash it down. Okay. Yeah. Okay. So there is my piece. So now all I'm going to do, I'm going to I'm going to take this and straighten it out a little bit. Okay. Here's my eye pen. And on this eye pen, all I'm going to do is put one of the um, metal spacers that came with these flyers. Put the flyer on, metal spacer. 
okay just like that and so I'm just going to take this I'm going to go up just a little bit from where that bead is bend it over Take my cutters, cut that off, and then start rolling this back with my round nose pliers. Just like this, I'm rolling it back. to straighten it out there we go and then um, open that up where did it go Attach this bottom piece on here, okay, and then I'm just going to do that. And make sure that is secure. Yeah, shut down. Okay. Then I'm going to take um, a fish hook that I have here. And we're going to open up this fish hook. Just like that. I'm going to attach this on here. Let me make sure that's all. Yeah, I'll have to straighten it out a little bit. And then move that back there, squeeze it, make sure it's connected well. And then here is our second earring. There you go. Okay. So there, that's our earring and our necklace set. And I'll hold it up so that you can see it a little bit better. I think that turned out so pretty. Um, it's got a rustic look to it. There's the back. Finished piece. I just, I love that. I think that turned out really nice. Um, and it accents. Uh, the beads are a little bit darker than what is in the actual um, piece. But it, it. It really goes well together because it makes it stand out even more. And then, again, here are our earrings, which I love these. I think these turned out real pretty, too. And they're simple, you know. Um, but they look very unique. Oh, come on. Okay, there we go. Uh, they're very unique. All these pieces are unique. You won't find any like this, right? Um, and those are the earrings. So let me know what you think. Uh, I am going to we'll do some other pieces with the other, you know, the heart that we did and um, some of the other pieces. Uh, I'll come back and I'll do another video. But I'm going to classify this as our part two because I've shown you everything. When I come back on the other videos... It'll just be necklace and um, earring sets that we put together. So, But I did want to show you that. I hope you all enjoyed it. Let me know if you have any questions or comments. Um, but I hope you had as much fun as I did putting this together. And I look forward to seeing you in the next video. Thank you so much. Have a great day. And um, happy crafting. And 
thank you, Chris, for all that you do to keep this channel going. And, um, you know, I'm so appreciative. And again, I can't uh, thank you all enough for, you know, watching the video. So I just ask that you um, like, share, comment, um, and subscribe. If you're not a subscriber, please subscribe. And I've said this before, but I'll say it again. Go back and watch Wendy's older videos. They're great. I mean, they really are great. So go back and watch those as well. So there's a lot of content on here. There's a lot of new content coming out all the time. Uh, so enjoy it. Until the next one, I'll talk to you later. Bye.